Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I am excited to show you two brand new glitches within Starfield. I'm going to show you how to float midair like this and control where you can go. Not only that, we're also going to talk about a brand new infinite credit glitch and it's also going to provide you with multiple items, digilocks, health items, material, I mean a lot of things. So with that being said, I'm sure a majority of you are here for the infinite credit glitch. We're going to talk about that first. What you need to do is locate the soul system which can be found right above Alpha Centauri. Once you have located the soul system you can then travel over here. You should be placed right in front of Mars. From the Mars location, once you have been scanned you can then travel towards the planet and we're going to be posted right here in front of the mining colony of Sidonia. Then progress forward you should see the Sidonia sign, take a left and you should see the UC. Go ahead, elbow one in the face, and then holster your weapon. What should happen is you will receive a unique dialogue where they're going to ask you to talk to their captain or whatnot. You will then receive a mission or request called Deep Cover. This is great because we're going to be introduced to the Crimson Fleet, which can be found over towards the Crix system, if I am pronouncing that right. I honestly do not know. Other than that, you will locate the key, and this is going to be a star station that was taken over by the Crimson Fleet. And yeah, we're going to gain access to the crew. Now, after completing Deep Cover, you're going to receive Rook Meets King next. This one is fairly quick, it's not that lengthy of a quest. Then you will receive Echoes of the Pass, Break in the Bank, which by the way, Break in the Bank might be the more lengthier one when it comes down to completing the quest, and last but not least, you will want to stop at the best there is quest. This one can be exploited pretty well and I'm going to show you how this is done. The last thing that you need to do in order to receive this quest is just to go inside the gal bank and pick up the archives. When you have done that you're going to then receive the next one which is going to be a different quest and you have to talk to Huan. And when you have talked to Huan she's going to then allow you to travel with her but we're not going to do that. We're going to stop right there. Note that when you do receive the quest to talk to her she will not be here originally. She'll be somewhere within Jemison and you will need to talk to her first then she'll be inside her ship and you can travel over towards the ship vendor and from there you should locate the jade ship that can be found on the right side our ship will of course be right behind us when we do spawn at this location when you have discovered this you can then board the ship from the front entrance of the ship and you can then go inside. We then want to turn around, take a left, take a right, go all the way down towards the end, take a right, and then go all the way up towards the top. When you're in the cockpit here, there's going to be two things that you can look at. There's going to be the left side, and this is going to be your cargo hold. Well, her cargo hold. And on the right side, you're going to see Captain's Locker. Let's loot all of this because here in a few seconds we're going to be able to reset this quickly. There's a few ways to do this but the best way to do it is going to be spawning somewhere in Jemison and I suggest that you use the residential district. This is perfect. Let's go ahead and travel over here. I will show you that this is not possible if you would like to spawn back at the ship vendor. This is not going to completely reset it. In fact it, it will not reset. Now, let's say that you have spawned at residential. You can then open up your map and travel back towards the ship. We will choose the second option, which is going to be New Atlantis. We're going to let it load up all the way through, and you're going to see the ship is obviously going to be there, and we're going to enter inside. What you're going to notice once you're at the cockpit is that the locker is going to contain more items. You can reset the captain's locker almost instantly and travel back to the spot, farm it up as much as you like with this exploit. The only issue is that when it comes down to the loot that's within the captain's locker, it's going to be completely random each time. So this means you may not receive 10,000 credits the first time, you may receive 5,000, but then the next time you may receive 8,000. It just, it's kind of different each time. And you may receive less or more items. It just, again, it's completely random. This is an awesome glitch in my opinion, or exploit, depending on how you look at it. And really, I think this is going to be something that you're going to be able to benefit from. 
The fact that you're able to pick up a bunch of items easily, such as credits, health items, material, ammunition, helmets, and I've yet to try this on the hardest difficulty. If by any means it does increase the loot chances, I will definitely update you guys in the comment section and it will be pinned. Other than that, we are going to get into the floating jetpack glitch, but before we can do that, I want to show you further proof that this does work more than just once or twice, it works multiple times. You can do this as much as you like. What I'll be doing here is remaining commentary free so that you can check out the proof without my voice popping in and out for no reason. You can catch me at 6 minutes and 51 seconds in this video. So go ahead, speed right ahead if you would like. And last but not least, we're going to talk about the jetpack glitch, which will allow you to float midair. I'm not too sure if there's really any benefits to this. If there is, let me know down below. What we need, optionally, is an outpost and a bed. You can do this without both, by the way. The only reason why I'm recommending it is if you need to recover some sort of starborn power so that you can use it once more. We're going to then go over towards our inventory and we want to make sure that we have two jetpacks. You can have multiple ones, but I just have two here. We need to work with just the two. If you have five jetpacks, that's okay, but really, you just need to mess with the two. Then we need to locate a power, which is going to be Gravdash. Once you have Gravdash equipped, you're going to then jump with the jetpack, Gravdash forward, Pause the game so that you're looking at the inventory. Replace your jetpack with the other one. Do not unequip the first jetpack because this is going to mess it up completely. You're not going to be able to float. You need to swap from one to the other. What you should notice when you do exit out of the menu is you're going to be able to float around. It almost looks like you're no clipping to be honest. And essentially I guess you could say you are, but you're not really doing the no clipping. You're just floating. I don't know. It reminded me of it. So there you go, guys. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about the glitches today, let me know down below. I will definitely reply back within the first hour or two if you are shooting it at the right time. But yeah, thank you guys so much, and I hope to see you guys on the next video.